Yeah. <laughs> Old rim. Times it. Like the rim grows on you about 10 That's and a right. half on that play. That's right. <laughs> Wait, am I seeing this right? What's good, Sib? Today I'm back with a new video and today I'm going to be talking about one of the most interesting individuals in the basketball world, in Giannis Tima. He recently made his summer league debut and was instantly a fan favorite due to his rare appearance. Dude looks like a 2K My player who spent all of his VC on accessories and also looks like Jai Dale if he had tattoos and bleached hair. Anyways, this unique prototype makes us question, how did this guy get to the NBA in the first place and how was his journey? Well, let's talk about it right now. Jonas Tima was born on July 2nd of 1992 in Kroslava, Latvia. He started playing basketball at an early age, with guys like Dirk Nowitzki inspiring him to play the game. Tima first started playing competitive basketball in a child system in Latvia called the ASK Rigas, and he made a few appearances for its senior team during the end of the 2008-9 season. Tima ended up playing really well this year, as his 3-point shot and aggressiveness to the basket allowed him to be very effective on the court. However, something tragic happened. Even though Tima wanted to keep playing with the team that gave him a chance in the first place, he unfortunately couldn't. This was because the ASK Riga system had to be terminated due to the lack of profit that they made. With that in mind, even though Tima was sad, he eventually moved on and enrolled with an even better team in DSN Riga, which had the best young Latvian players in the country. Tima ended up performing great once again as he helped DCN Riga to win the Latvian second division in the 2009-10 season. He played so good this year that he got a chance to play professional basketball in Latvia in 2012 at the age of only 19, which is crazy. Tima ended up joining one of the best teams in the country in the Leopagas Lauvas in which he averaged 13 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists and 1 steal while shooting 44% from the field and 31% from 3. However, Tima ended up leaving the team after not being offered a fair contract. With this in mind, Tima ended up signing a multi-year contract with Ben Spills. Here, he did pretty decent as well as he averaged around the same numbers as the previous year. However, here's where things get interesting. After the 2012-13 season concluded with the Ben Spills, Timo ended up declaring for the 2013 NBA Draft and actually got drafted by the Grizzlies with the last pick in the draft. He ended up playing 6 games with the Grizzlies summary team in which he averaged 3 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist and 1 steal while shooting a horrific 21% from the field and 11% from 3. Yeah, Timo played this bad. With this in mind, it didn't take long enough for the Grizzlies to get rid of him as they actually traded his draft rights to the Magic for Luke Ridnour. However, instead of playing for the Magic, Tima decided to stay in Europe to develop his game more as he still wasn't ready to compete at the NBA level. He ended up playing for the Ben Spills once again as he actually led the team to the LBL Championship while also winning Finals MVP, All LBL Player of the Year, all LBL first team and all Baltic League first team from Eurobasket.com. After another incredible season in 2015, Tima ended up leaving the Latvian League and instead played a couple of years in Russia, followed by three selections in Latvia's national team. Here, Tima and Porzingis were extremely dominant as both couldn't miss from three. And dominated in the paint. X gets it back to Porzingis, he takes the contact! Yeah. Moving forward, Timo ended up playing four full seasons in the EuroLeague with the Olympiacos and this team that I cannot pronounce. He had a lot of up and downs throughout these years as he first started averaging around 3 points per game on barely any minutes to then averaging close to 15 points per game for consecutive seasons. Then after a decent 2021 campaign in the EuroLeague, Tima ended up getting a call from the Orlando Magic as they invited him to play for their Summer League team. Of course, Tima ended up accepting the invitation and is now playing in the NBA Summer League for the first time since 2014, and the rest is history. Yes, Tima has been playing amazing in the NBA Summer League games thus far, and it looks like the Magic will give him a chance on their main roster. His 3-point shooting alongside his experience are something that the Magic have been looking forward to for quite a while, so things might go well here. We'll see what happens though, as there's still Summer League action left, and Tima still has to perform and show consistency. And that concludes the video. What do you guys think of Jaidel? What do you guys think of Tima? Do you think he will make the Orlando Magic main roster? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more basketball content, 
and turn on post notifications to get notified of my official videos. I'll bring us a great day. Peace out.